So we are. Oh, snap. Hey, y'all. Peace, 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 so peace. So no, well, I'm going to turn around. Peace, love, and awareness, family. It's Hope everybody's having a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm here with the tribe. Let me put the. I'm over here with the tribe. Oh, Kameen. I'm looking at food, y'all. We got Sister Tree over here. We got Leah over there going in on that rice. <laughs> Miss Shanti Gumbo. So, fam, well, there's nobody on here right now, so I'm going to wait. Peace, peace. Peace, sister. Oh, well, I got my um my dimmer down so I can attract some battery at least. Battery light. So, I'm going to wait. No, we can't wait to get the BS. So, I'm going to wait a little bit, fam, before we get, um, get into the topic today. Get to the topic. We sitting here still in Puerto Rico. Wonder this pavilion in Luquillo. Luquillo. Can we go on the light? Oh. No, they can see us. It's just like, look, hold on. He said, I'm just. <laughs> I'm like, they can hear the message, though. See, yeah. see they can oh, see. Yeah, we guys. Okay, we good. We good. <laughs> okay. We really had it down. Yeah, have it down. That battery reserved. Peace. Hey, sis. Peace. You can see, yeah, you can see the message right there. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, hey, sis, peace. Um, I wanted to come over today to be able to uh, speak a little bit about group manifestation and um, having uh, faith in what your intentions are and what you speak into this reality. Um, so I'm just going to wait to a little bit more people to come on here before we go in. Let me show y'all the view real quick of downtown Lukio. It's a nice sunny day. Can you hear me, um, sis? Let me know if y'all can hear me. Okay, I see more people coming on here. Peace, 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 everybody. Let me know if you guys can hear me, and I'm just going, we just going to jump in on our conversation for today. Just showing y'all a little bit of uh, downtown Luquillo, Puerto Rico. Sitting up here with the tribe. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Yes, loud and clear. That's what I like to hear. Well, let me go ahead and pull the camera back this way. So, so, so. So let's speak about a little bit about faith. Me and the tribe, we're sitting here. We're in um, basically L-U-K, Puerto Rico, up in the rainforest. We don't have a car, but we've been manifesting rides left and right. I wish I could let y'all see everybody. Everybody kind of like got it. She over there going in on that rice. She's she gonna eat her scoot, right first. She's gonna scoot in. She's gonna scoot in after the rice. Let me get behind her. But um, but um, I want to speak a little bit about you know setting your intent and knowing that when you wake up in the morning and you set your intent to be clear on exactly what you want to manifest in this reality. Um, and so that's what we've been doing. We don't we don't have a car, but we've been blessed enough to be aware of the abundance all around us. Um, so we just kind of want to come on here and share our experience. With getting down, it takes us about two hours. We have no internet, and we don't have a car. So it takes us about two hours to walk down the mountain, and maybe about, what, three hours to come back out the mountain? Um, so at the beginning, we, we had to walk. But then what we started, we started realizing is that, um, you know, speaking that intent mm -hmm. and getting that ride, no matter what, we were going to always have that ride. So, um, and, and we actually it started specifically um, the power manifestation or that knowledge of it was regards to like manifesting transportation and amongst other things. Um, specifically, calling the name of the person who is gonna come get us, mm -hmm. you know, and actually having it happen like back to back to back, um, and just being on that frequency, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really appreciated that that beginning part of. How everything started out, like we were gonna manifest this, and then we had to step out. Really, first we had to step out on faith. We had to leave the mountain with the faith that like we were gonna survive. Mm -hmm. you know, we didn't have all the information about what was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. you know? But we definitely knew that the ride will come. Um, let me see. Let me turn up. Let me just like pop it up on this. Hold on, hold on, y'all. We're gonna try to get everybody in there. Yeah, put it on smoke pack. Okay, hold on. Step, put it on the smoke pad. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold on, one second. No, wait a minute. One second, y'all. We trying to prop this video up, right? Let me turn it. There you go, right here. Oh, 
I'm gonna find a way. You always find a way. Oh, look at that. The reggae band. The reggae band. We are reggae All right, all right, all right. We can come, come, come in, come in. Hold on, let me take my easy walk off. Oh, she doing the most, y'all. She gotta take her shoes off. But um, yeah. So, like you were saying, like coming up and having. She smelling her feet. <laughs> She's smelling her feet on camera. Like I know I said get. I, I know I said all. get comfortable with the live video. I'm sorry, y'all. They they going in. It's all okay. love. But um, dang your feet stink. No, they don't. <laughs> I just smell them. They not that bad. <laughs> You got jokes. My bad, my bad. All right, all right. Let me get back on this live. So, um, so you're having the faith, and then also a, a, a good th good thing is, you know, when you're in a community and you're in a tribe, there's no such thing as a leader. There should be no type of Jesus complex, um, where somebody's the 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 know it all or the go to. What I like about us is that we all have our lane. We all have our parts. Uh, different puzzle pieces into the manifestation and what we bring in. So, for example, uh, <laughs> so for example, uh, you want to speak on your character and, and your energy that you bring in when we get into situations. Um, I don't know. You know, I think uh, I have the ability to speak to a lot of different things. Um, whatever, whatever the person is. But I think the main thing is I can speak to different things for whatever time that they have this particular broadcast is that um, you have to release any fear of mm -hmm. anything um, if you really are interested in really seeing um, heaven and earth. I'm a, a tarot card teacher. I teach people how to interpret tarot. And one of the things in tarot is that you have a, a card that's referred to as the magician. And the magician is you, the conduit, copper. I like to refer to people as didn't thing. hear what she said at first. Okay, can you hear us now? Hold on. You might have to turn it up. Uh, now, because the thing is, the speaker is on the this bottom. on the bottom. Uh, so yeah. we might have to just hold it and not remove it. Yeah, I'll hold it for y'all when I talk. Okay, so you are a conduit. You see a lot of people wearing a lot of these beautiful design copper jewelry with the necklaces and the rings and all of that. You literally are that copper. You're a conductor. You uh, have energy running through you. And so as copper, you allow the connection be to be made between heaven and earth through you. So the divine literally sends information through you and the earth sends information through you. And you have to allow yourself to be open enough for that information to come. And to be open, you have to release fear. And so in order to experience your quote unquote heaven on earth, you have to release any fear, any worry, any lack, any doubt of what is actually possible. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and then that's when your faith comes in. And so, as soon as your fear leaves, your faith steps in, and your faith in the word, your faith in your word, your faith that you and God are one. And so, your word will never return to you void. Is very, very powerful. And so, as soon as you speak your existence into existence, it exists. So, it's really that simple. Um, the beauty of um, what people call enlightenment, quote unquote, which there is no much darkness uh when you have quote unquote enlightenment it's simply to just have an awareness to see all of the miracles that are happening around you all of the things that are happening it's just that you are not distracted when you're not distracted you're not worried about all of the things that are happening that you don't like because you're focusing on all of the things that you're grateful for and everything that is beautiful and even the things that do exist that are uncomfortable are only there for your good yeah, yeah. Fear, uh, fear is a uh, fear is one of the things that you can't have on this journey. Um, with trying to bring things down, to manifest things down that you want, you just have to already know that you have it. Right. So it was some of the times we would wake up and we'll walk down the hill, and I'd be like, "Y'all hear our ride coming? It's coming." You know, a couple out, we didn't know who the ride was coming from, but we know we knew our power, and we know that we would draw magnetism one of my um one of my aspects that i bring is my power to allure and my power to be a magnet and to decipher you know <laughs> let's call it <laughs> she's the decipher she's like that's the, that's the whole world oh the decipher like. and, and the magnet yeah 
I can't slack with your bullshit. <laughs> So like if you see something or something is like irking you about somebody or whatever, like you really be looking at yourself, mm-hmm. you know. And so that we were talking about the other day with that process of um, being some kind of way at first, and then like you just know that you know that might be it. And then immediately <laughs> being like, wait a minute, so how am I feeling? Like bring uh-huh. constantly that process of bringing it back to yourself mm-hmm. and having everybody do reflection in the mirror. Yes. Myself and looking at my like, they're all like, um, neutral and positive. Like, she's <laughs> everything's, you know what I mean? She everything's gonna be of, okay, you know, everything's gonna be fine. She's gonna do it. Um, and how you are like, you know, you could be cut throat discernment. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could be a little like drill sergeant that's like <laughs> camp safety scout leader, patrol, safety patrol, <laughs> you know what I mean? And July is the butterfly. She's the butterfly. <laughs> July comes through with her positive messages uh-huh. too. Positive messages, you know, just light energy, you know, um, creative energy. Yes, creative. Yes. You know, and um, it's just it's just a blessing to me to be with people um, who are all sharing a frequency. You know, yes. we share a frequency and. Um, through that frequency, we can manifest and create for ourselves and other people. Mm-hmm. Um, and to me, it's just like life now is just constant reminders every day for us. It's a constant reminder of how powerful we are, how magical we are. I like to the point we were talking. Like I'm not even surprised anymore <laughs> when, like, when we get when stuff comes to us. You know, yeah. like people, we to the point now. People are like y'all need a ride. You need a ride. Come on now. What you need? What you need? And so yeah. it's like, you know, I wonder what else could come. I'm next, you know, how yeah. much more expansive can we get with this? Yeah, we, we limit, we just keep going. Limitless. 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 We don't have a limit. We just keep going on and on. So, um, another thing that we also been, uh, we've been, like I said, we've been staying up on top of the, uh, the bush, on top of the top mm. of a mountain. And so it's been very, very healing. Um, we've been really working with all the elements. So we've been getting our, getting our, Water in for sure because we stay in the rainforest. It's always raining, so you know that deals with our emotions. So we've been really getting in touch with our emotions and doing that inner work and releasing, um, you know, old stagnant things uh, or emotions that we hold on to from you know this lifetime and lifetimes um, unseen. And then you know we've been working with the earth element, um, the air, uh, fire, which is nice and beautiful sun. So all of that has been purging them and cleaning us. And on top of that, we're staying in a chaotic situation. Um, the land that we're on um, needs a lot of love. So I can. <laughs> Not the land. The, the people. Let's be clear. Like the, well, the, the people. Is, the people. You're right. The land is doing what it is. Yeah, the land is, the yeah. Land is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the, well, yeah the, the land is amazing. It's, but it, it's the people, the caretakers that need, first they need the love. Um, and so one of our big reasons for also being here is to sprinkle our fear sets, mm-hmm. to sprinkle our love, to, to be those lighthouses that we, we are to, um, to bring balance. So it's, it's just been really kind of like a, it, it, it was, it's a blessing in disguise. You know, we may have had it first. We didn't really see how good we actually had it. You know, we're blessed enough to be in a place, you know, in the middle of a mountain, you know, we're not paying for mm-hmm. anything. Um, and manifesting rise, not even just manifesting rise, networking, connecting yeah, with people. How we've been at the beach, you know, the vegan fest yesterday. And, and um, how we got a ride there. You know, how, you know, just getting rides. It's, it's, we, we, you know, y'all might hear a lot about rides. It's a big deal <laughs> it's here. A big but y'all know and, about know, that hill, though. You know, it might sound small, you know, but, you know, if you're, you know, if you're in Puerto Rico, you understand, like, the real, if you're, especially where we're at in Puerto Rico, it's like, our, you know, mobility is important. You know, and I feel like we've been not even just that. I'm sorry yeah, to cut you off, but um, the gifts, the gifts, the gifts that mm-hmm. people have been giving us. Mm-hmm. You know, we got our wizard Walter that comes in. 
you know, speaking, you know. Delicious fresh vegetables, bought and fresh, greens and herbs. Mm-hmm. And, and herbs for free. You know, not, medicine. Not to even mention free herbal essence. Free herbal essence. You yeah, know. Yeah, free, free herbal essence. Free ganja coming through. Right, right. A right. Medaya here too don't hurt. Yes. Mm-hmm. I love it. The yeah. abundance of potatoes, a lot of food and mm-hmm. stuff. A lot of local food. And but the bananas, the that, bananas we the that, that we pick off yeah. the trees. Oh, yeah. So just really giving thanks. So pause. So now that we've listed all of our wonderful um, things that we're grateful for, I think that it would be a really good exercise for everyone this evening to before you lay your head to rest, think of all the things that you're grateful for. If you really mm-hmm. want to get dirty, write a list out. But just really, really go into that deep state of gratitude because when you're grateful, you are given more reasons to be grateful. Um, mm-hmm. when you are prepared for that which you have asked for, that's exercising gratitude. So, prime example, I got my passport while I was here, but I had my birth certificate, I had my um, social security card, I was ready. And so, when you are asking the universe, God, at all for things, you cannot ask for that which you are not prepared for. And so, if there is a shift that you are looking to make in your reality, you have to prepare for that shift. You have to purge, you have to do certain things in order to see a new manifestation of your reality. Man, preach, preach. <laughs> yeah, um so yeah, I think that's a really good uh exercise to do tonight is to, you know, or any time today, just sit down and write what you're thankful. I know I gotta definitely do it because it's just it's, you know, it's little, little small things that just been coming in in abundance. And, you know, giving thanks to your self-awareness, to be aware of everything around you. Being aware of every, you know, the situation, being aware of that self-talk, that God talk. Because, you know, you do God. You talk to yourself through everything. The animals, even the animals on our property. We have, what we have, uh, two dogs, two cats. Three cats, really. Three. Two, cats, one, two cats, one in the bush. <laughs> You got a cat in the bush that shows up sometimes. We had a puppy trying to come in. And and all and all of these beings, all of these beings has has been, you know, teaching us things about ourselves because they're mirror images of us as well. Um, and then we we meet spirit guides, animals, dogs, you know, that walk us down the hill and everything. So um it's just been very, very um cool experience, a magical Adventurous type yeah, of a naked experience. A yes. naked experience. Get out. Tell a naked advocate to yeah, get out and be naked. naked. Listen, I, I tell I tell people, you know, um, nudity. Unfortunately, sometimes people live in climate zones that um, aren't really like conducive to being naked all the time. And there's really nothing like being in a climate zone um, where you can, can free be up. Naked. Time. Mm-hmm. You know, and just to feel the sun in places and to just not, you know, not have it be about sex. And, yes, you know being with I mean? people where you can be naked yeah, around. Absolutely. When it's not like, ooh, what she got, what he got. Becoming, I mean, walking, I mean, absolutely. cooking butt naked. Cooking naked, talking naked. <laughs> laying on the roof laying naked. Asking for stuff. Asking for stuff. Bartering infants. Knocking on doors naked. <laughs> 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 peeing outside. Yes, yes I'm gonna miss peeing outside. I'm peeing outside. I really am. That was the best. Y'all don't just be peeing outside. We well, we, we take we we <laughs> take it, we we doing more than peeing, but we blessing <laughs> the land though. We, we making it real fertile. <laughs> That's one thing I'm gonna miss. Okay, so let me ask y'all, what would be one thing that y'all gonna y'all can name one thing y'all would miss about the Puerto Rico experience? What would it be? Let's start with tree. Valleys, the mountains, the, the, the that view in the morning. 
the view. view. The ocean. The view. The what about ocean. what about the love mug making on the mountain? Oh, her. Hey. You crazy. Um, what, what, one thing that I would miss. <laughs> you know, I this past week I had an opportunity to go to New York. Mm. You know, um, to work with a bro and a client, and I was in New York and he got to New York and I was like. Wow, like there's just buildings all around me now. It's the it's the city I grew up in, um, and so I mean I'm a native New Yorker, you know what I mean. But when I got back there, um, I guess because I only I knew I was only going to be there for a week, I, I didn't really get uh, my feelings about it. Um, but but what I did was I took it as an opportunity to just really go in and try to connect with the environment around me. Um, and tell me and, and be more clear about what this environment is informing me about, you know. And so I saw all of these buildings. I saw how it affects you. When, you know, if you can't see to the horizon, you you, you know your mind can't really create far. You know what I mean? It's it's really important for you to see the ocean, for you to see the other side of the you know the valley. <laughs> you know, to have that opportunity um, to see the openness and be connected to nature. But I really appreciated New York for what it offered, and I felt it was very temporal. But one thing that I'm going to really miss out here is um, I love the beauty. I feel like I love the beauty of Puerto Rico. I love the openness and expansiveness. But really, when I was here the first month by myself, it really wasn't as exciting and fulfilling as it was as when y'all got here. You know what I mean? Seriously, like my first year, my first month, I was talking to Tree. I was like going through a lot and transition because I felt like I was I was missing my tribe. I was missing like my frequency, my I don't know something. I'm at a cafe, no, she said she could hear. Oh, okay. In a cafe, I can't oh, and I you can't hear. Oh, she said, Oh, I'm at a cafe, I can't hear. Especially since all of y'all is leaving in a week, and I'm still gonna be there for a few weeks, I feel like um, I'm gonna really need to be reflective on my. I'm not not too much, you know, reflective on how I'm gonna make y'all feel better. Cause I want to be in the present moment, but definitely I feel like you know that has been like one of the most um, favorable parts of my week. Really just embracing stuff with y'all, manifesting with y'all, both like. You know, going to different parts of Puerto Rico, meeting people, you know, and just having a good group of people to really connect with and share good food with. Mm, good food, you know, good food. Just share goodness.
to do a wrap up. So to recap everything we talked about from expressing gratitude, everything was amazing. Everybody should walk away with a positive experience. Yeah. Walk away with gratitude, being grateful, grateful to give, grateful to receive, grateful to whatever the circumstances that um, you find yourself in. Walk away with positivity. Be so grateful for your blessings, and gratitude that you have all of your blessings. Just like if you were to throw a rock into the Mississippi River, and you see the trees, and it is a river, you are the rock. So no matter how it looks, you're going to be able to see the trees. I know we're not going to be able to see the trees. Oh, we have. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Connect with your people. You know, connect with your soul tribe. You know, uh, whatever you want in life, get on that frequency. It's plain and simple. You know, um, everything is a frequency. Get on the frequency. Um, and in order to manifest, you gotta. She just cut me off. Why? She talking about somebody who keeps me. Yo. Uh, manifest, you know, and manif- <laughs> the, the, uh, a main thing about manifestation like, is no. speaking it into existence, you know, um, speak your reality into existence and, and, and be, live, love your life, you know, love your life. I said that today and I try to tell myself that every day, you know, whatever life brings me, you know, it's always a beautiful thing because I'm alive, you know, so just love your life. Um, I guess to recap, <laughs> um, I was going to say so what, but that's, that's what just came to mind, you know, being, being in the now and appreciating what's in front of you right now and accepting everything that is just appreciating it, accepting it and letting it just be, just let it be. Don't try to change it. Don't try to manipulate it. Recreate something. If you want something different, just recreate it yourself. Um. I'm always in the ethers, you know, so flow. <laughs> All right, fam. Little recap, little recap, little recap. Um, I want to leave here with a little message to, uh, like she said, being present, being in the now, and um, just give thanks of your awareness to be aware of your progress, and uh, don't judge if you feel in a certain way. Like one thing that I did mm-hmm. learn. It's just processing my emotions, like letting the emotions pass through me instead of being like, why am I mad right now? Why am I mad? Just processing it, like observing it, but not judging it. Mm. So just letting that, that because being mad is nothing but an energy. It's, it's the energy that that madness is a, a type of energy that, you know, that flows through you. So, you know, just processing things Love and um, being aware, Energetic. just being aware of everything, um, being in the now moment. And give it thanks to every yeah. little thing that comes into your life. Every little thing, every little thing. Um, just be grateful. And um, that's pretty much about it, fam. Just kind of wanted to come on here. Hold on, did I turn this this way? So just want to come on here and just say bye to you guys. And <coughs> off the guy. Off the One of the most non sexy people. <laughs> This that. Gumbo, y'all. <laughs> He's just beautiful. Yeah, just beautiful. Her arms are short. I don't know, baby. Bless me. We're happy. Us. We're singing and we're song and we're, we're colored. Da 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 da. Give it a hot spot. <laughs> a hot spot. <laughs> a hot spot. We need a hot spot. We do need a hot spot though. Like, oh, if really? y'all come to Puerto Rico, have a car. Right. And don't be no fault. We're far. If y'all need to do work on the internet. Okay. Right. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Peace.